going to be making Esbat and Sabat cookies. Um, if you are a practicing pagan or um, are you know just getting into the practice, um, you may know that at the end of all rituals, there is a cakes and ale portion of the ceremony and, or ritual, and um, that is to help ground and center and help get some of your energy back after you've performed your magic or your celebration. And um, so this is a recipe that you can use for any sabat or any esbat, and it's very easy, very simple, and let's get started, shall we? Okay, first you're gonna need three-fourths of a cup of sugar, and I like to use the vegan sugar cane because I am vegan, so anything that I can find that's vegan and still reasonably priced, that's what I use. So three-fourths of a cup of sugar, and in here I've already put in um, one half teaspoon of pure almond extract and one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. I like to use pure extracts because the um, imitation flavoring to me just tastes fake. I don't like the way that they taste. So, and the next thing you're, that you're going to need is one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then, um, one fourth of a cup of butter and I since I'm vegan like I said before I use earth balance vegan butter which is um, very good and all the recipes turn out exactly the same as if you were using regular butter and then one fourth of a cup of shortening and I also use a vegan brand of um, earth balance for that as well and then one third of a cup of milk you can use soy milk or regular milk and then two cups of flour and you mix all this together and you mix it with, I'm not going to mix it right now just to save time because it is kind of loud, but you can mix it with your beater um, instead of your hand or a spoon because um, it's kind of, it takes a long time. So anyway, when it's done being mixed, this is kind of what it's going to look like. Yay! and it's just real doughy and everything so you form it into a ball and then you put it on a floured surface let's move some of these things out of the way and then so you flour the surface and like I said before you can use these for any occasion you can use these for an s-bot for new moon dark moon full moon um, if you want to use them for the dark moon, you can put in food coloring. Um, for the new moon, you can also use food coloring for the full moon. Here's an example of a finished full moon. Yay! So anyway, and um, so I've got my little pentacle press that you can you know put in it. And I mean, it's just very simple. You just roll it out, whatever thickness. I like thicker cookies because I don't like hard, crunchy cookies. I never really have. And you know it's same thing and then you can put the press in it if you want and then for uh, Yule you can use trees for Samhain you can use little pumpkins or any of the harvest ones like uh, you know Maybon you can use this as well and then you don't have to grease the cookie sheet since there already is butter and shortening in it and then you preheat the oven before you start I should have said that to 350 and then you put them in the oven and bake them for eight to nine minutes. Um, I like mine, you know, like I said, a little bit thicker, so it does take about nine minutes to cook them through. Mine don't turn out golden brown, but they do, um, you know, turn a little bit golden on the bottom. I don't know if you can see this. I get them so that they're just done. Um, these are good to frost if you like frosting cookies, or you can just have these plain and, um, I think that's about it. I mean, this is just a very simple recipe. I will put it on the sidebar, and it's fun. And the recipe doesn't make very many cookies. It probably makes about two dozen, um, just depending on what size. If you want to make all big cookies, then it may make just 12 cookies, just depending on, especially if you make these really huge ones. If you make the small ones, it makes about two dozen. So it's a very small batch. Um, that way, you solitaries out there that don't have a coven to share them with, um, you can eat them up within like the next couple weeks after and then and then you can make a fresh batch 
for uh, your next S-Bot or Sabat. So, yay! Um, I really hope you've enjoyed my cookie recipe. And there's my dog going, yay, I love cookies! So, <laughs> if I leave them cooling on the table, then um, he tends to eat them. But anyway, so after they're done, you know, like you take them out and then use a little cookie thing and put them on a cooling rack. And um, that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry it's so scattered. I started running out of ingredients so I couldn't do any more takes. I have no idea how those cooking shows do it. Oh my gosh. Yay, I've got like four batches of cookies. Yay! So <laughs> anyway, blessed be and I hope you guys have a really great week. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.